Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annie of Any Given Sunday and we're gonna be chatting about reflections from my second year of law school. So grateful it is over. To say that is an understatement. To say that is an understatement. <laughs> um, so I would say that the first lesson also apologies in advance for the audio the sound of my lens calibrating is normally overridden by a microphone that i normally would have on here but i just learned and discovered while i was filming another video that it was not working the entire time so i'm glad i at least learned that before I'm glad I at least learned that um, before actually starting a video where the only thing I would be doing is talking. Um, my other video can probably be saved by like doing a voiceover since the point of it was a makeup. But basically, if you want to know how I got this makeup look, if you want to, if you're here because you like this makeup look, I filmed a separate video on that that should be up already, if not, is going to go up shortly. So yeah, but I honestly think that the number one lesson that i learned from 2l is like even if you think you can you can't <laughs> um and that's not to say that you think you can and you no not even if you think you can you can't even if you think you can even if you can you shouldn't <laughs> um and i mean that in the context of taking on all the work that you think you should be able to do i had a very heavy course load my first semester and I was like, oh, I should be able to do it. Like, I've always been able to manage everything. I've always been able to manage everything. And that's true. Like, yes, I was always capable and I always will be capable, but it was just too much. It was just overwhelming. And I think there is just a lot of stuff that people don't necessarily tell you about 2L out of fear of like, making it seem like it was worse than 1L. And I'm here to tell you it is. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that your second year of law school is not um, going to be easier because it's it, like it, you you there's more added into the mix um, I was on the board for our bolsa as secretary and that just came with its own responsibilities and kind of like Things that would like kind of fluster me because it'd be like send this email like da 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 like a whole bunch of communications um, Larview was a huge time commitment an incredible time commitment that I didn't anticipate in the way that it was so it felt like I had no free time at all um, and then I on top of that I just had like a heavy course load and of course like doing the things that I wanted to do like maintain a presence on social media um, exercise sleep eat all of those things so honestly if you're if you have to ask yourself like oh is this gonna be too much chances are it is chances are it is too much um so don't do it um another lesson that i learned from too well is to, like and i still always fall into this trap of like doing what like i think i'm supposed to do as opposed to doing what i want to do um i think there were a decent amount of classes this year that i took just because not just because but that i took primarily because that's like oh you have to take this if you want to do xyz or like if you want to do x you need to do y that type of thing um and so i honestly if i'm being very real with you still don't feel like i have had like I don't want to say enjoyable but I, it just feels like law school is just like happening and I've just been sitting in a classroom um, and like listening to people tell me about the law without actually seeing it in practice for myself um, and of course virtual learning was a huge barrier huge impediment to that so that's not on anyone and that's definitely like it's not on me per se but there are definitely ways that I could be more proactive um, and so I'm really hoping in my third year of law school to just be more proactive in seeking clinical and like experiential learning just so I cannot be sitting in a classroom or not be sitting at a computer screen waiting for loss the like waiting for me to feel like I'm a lawyer when I don't think that's necessarily going to happen in the classroom. I think this year also just taught me the importance of building relationships with professors. Um and I always kind of knew that, but I think when you don't have the option to like walk into someone's office um, and this is not necessarily um, a lesson affiliated or a lesson that corresponds specifically to 2L um, it is relevant to any year but it, it's a lesson that just comes out of being in virtual learning for so long so long so long so long so long we've been doing this for so long um, but yeah I just feel like I 
but there are just so many things that I feel like I would have probably like been more proactive about had we been in person and that's just that's just the reality that we live in and um and yeah I guess I'm taking that at the forefront of my mind going into 3L. Um, any other lessons that I've learned from this year? I mean, once again, re reinstilling the importance of self care. And I think that's something that I did prioritize this year. As much as I could, <laughs> um, as much as I could, um, like I was still going to sleep. If I was tired, I was going to go to sleep. Um, and there were certain practices and habits that I started building in. Um, just because at times like, yeah, sometimes it was just lonely. Yeah, sometimes it was lonely through 2L. Um, I was here for the first half of the year of the school year in my apartment by myself, literally day in, day out by myself. Um, and so that part sometimes was challenging. And so like, I don't know, just like starting to build habits that kind of reinstilled in me the idea that I wasn't alone and that I did have community. Um, was really important um, and so shout out if you're a friend who's watching this shout out you know holding me down this year um, but this one was it was it was a tough one it was a tough one for all of the reasons that you might be able to imagine and and even so much more that I won't go into um, but like yeah it was it was challenging but I'm I'm glad to be here um, another thing that oh another lesson that I learned has to do with just like the interview process um, and the lesson behind that, if you're like interviewing for a big law firm and you're going into the early interview program, um, which luckily enough is moved back to the original date, but there's so much effort that goes into preparing for that. There is so much like knowledge or information. I won't even necessarily call it knowledge, but I guess I could information that you will receive regarding that process. And at the end of the day, no one has a firm grip on what is happening because everyone is making their own and by everyone I mean firms and employers are making their decisions based on like you know their own interests their own priorities for that moment for that day for that year for the class etc so I would say like the biggest thing is to just go in bracing yourself for disappointment um but also sometimes pleasant surprises but I think my class this year was just like kind of thrown off by like kind of how confident we were made to seem we should feel um, and then how the process actually went. So I would say the biggest lesson is to kind of always expect the unexpected and that anytime anyone is being like positive or optimistic about something and conveying that to you for like prospects of anything, I would take it with a grain of salt. And that's not to say that like, oh, they would be wrong or oh, you're not qualified or oh, like you're going to get all of this rejection. That is to say like, you you just cannot be too confident, especially in the circumstances with, that we're, we're in. And it's always just better to like kind of temper your expectations so that rejection or disappointment doesn't hit or hurt um, as much as it could have had you thought you had it in the bag. Um, so that's just related to early interview program. If you are going into that, good luck. This is not necessarily a lesson or anything. Um, it's kind of just like expressing, I guess, slight disappointment in some way of like, and this, I think this goes back to what I was saying earlier about feeling like law school is happening to me and not like something that I'm experiencing. Um, just like the feeling that I didn't really have an opportunity and a lot of us didn't really have an opportunity to get like a firm grasp on law school. When we come into 1L, you have all these 2Ls and 3Ls like, okay, your, your fall 1L might not be the best, but like the good thing is you get better like each and every year, each and every semester you get better, which makes sense. Like the more exams you take, all of this stuff, like you just get better. And I just feel like there were so many different variables thrown in each semester that like, everything was so different it just felt like everything was happening for the first time so that there wasn't really an opportunity to get mastery of it per se like first semester was first semester so that was challenging second semester was a pandemic and we were pass fail so it was kind of just like the energy the effort etc just like didn't necessarily have to be there if we're being honest um and so like there wasn't mastery or there wasn't like improvement in that regard because we just wouldn't we didn't know we wouldn't have known and then our first semester back and for like second semester i mean second year of law school first semester 
we're doing a fully and completely virtual semester and and now we're getting graded so that was new it was like okay we're doing what we sort of did last year but this time we're doing it for real but like how are we doing it for real like this is just weird um and so it just felt like everything was just like different each time um and so i i i am remiss to not have the to not have had the opportunity to just like have at least some things stay constant enough to feel like I was like making progress or that I was seeing growth like there it's just there's n there's not a clear trajectory like because there just wasn't the opportunity to be like all right you've improved you've gone up I could be like well that doesn't really count because this and that doesn't really count because that or like this is weird because that global pandemic um so yeah but I don't think I want to complain about the pandemic anymore and hopefully things are looking up hopefully um so that maybe you know next year is 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 different in a in a different way <laughs> next year will continue the trend of being different from all the previous years is what i hope um in a good way i think a personal lesson for me this year was just about like having confidence and acknowledging that i know more than i think i know from the perspective of like being able to give advice or you know insight i feel like i'm this is too well and thrill is that you're at the stage where people who are like in lower classes than you at law school are asking for advice or insight but then on top of that people who are applying to law school are asking for advice and insight and i've always kind of been like the i don't know what i'm doing so i don't know if i can help you um but in some ways that's been a cop-out and in other ways that's just been a symptom of imposter syndrome and feeling like i'm not qualified enough to give other people advice which just like at some point i just realized i was like that's not the case like i may not know everything but i may i but i probably know enough to at least give someone some sort of help or insight and so it's been really interesting to transition into that space of um, having more experience even though i also feel like i haven't had that much experience um in law school to like be that like older and wiser upperclassmen or whatever um so I, I i learned a personal lesson of just like trusting my gut not necessarily trusting my gut but just like trusting what i know trusting in what i know um to be able to share that with other people as well overall i can't lie to you i don't really think this year was that like profound in terms of the lessons that i've learned as much as it was a uh, academic hazing <laughs> um and i'm glad i'm glad it's over is all i can say over and over again i think 2l was by far the most challenging academic experience i've had in my life um and i've i've been through i've been through some like really high intensity academic settings um in my life and i i think now like I, this past year has surpassed it obviously with the asterisk asterisk of a pandemic but I'm happy for it to be done, um, moving into the summer, working um, and enjoying life, you know, doing enjoyment, hopefully traveling or whatever. Um, but that is all I hope to do. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, I feel like I got kind of personal in this video <laughs> without getting too personal. Um, but yeah, if you liked this video, if you like what you saw and you want to see more of these types of videos, please like, comment, um, and subscribe, aka do all the things that YouTubers normally tell you to do. Um, and I hope to see you here again for the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.